Last time I was in the head of this gully. I would almost pull my camera out to film a uh, kingfisher that was sitting on an exposed, exposed branch, chirping flat out. And, you know, I was just in the process of unzipping the pouch that's got my camera in it, and three hens literally gapped it right across in front of me, less than 20 yards away. But apart from a whole lot of uh, uh, discarded feathers, and they're in fairly poor condition now, um, I've seen no sign of uh, peacocks at all, um, male or female. I don't know quite where they are at the moment. Um, my best guess is that uh, they're in a spot where there's plenty of food and it's relatively damp. Somewhere where they can forage for their tucker and it's relatively cool but I haven't found them yet. Of course they've uh, they've lost all their flourishing colours, well the males have anyway. They'll still have their eye feathers down their backs. But the females will be uh, nicely camouflaged, they've just come off the nest. And those with chicks, they'll be um, they're keeping their heads down and very aware of what's going on around them for the sake of their chicks. Anyway, uh, we've just come back from a little holiday and I was able to uh, film some peacocks in um, some wildlife parks, a couple of them actually, um, and I'll splice that footage in. Uh, you'll see that they've still got their, um, their eye feathers, uh, they're still laying down the middle of their backs, but the feathers are only as long as their normal tail feathers, so they're quite short. All the big long um, um, feathers that they get for their mating, they're well and truly gone. They've cast them into the bush. And you'll find them lying on the ground. They're actually quite easy to, to see and to pick up because of the, the white shaft of the feather. They're quite distinctive. A bit friendly, aren't you? Hey. Hmm. He looks like he wants to go up there. Look, you can see he's looking up there. Yeah. Come on, look at him scratching. You have to dig in out of here. You want to go, don't you, mate? There you go. Yeah, it's quick and easy, one. not it? Well, there's still peacock feathers out and about on the ground to be had, but I think they're very definitely past their best. They're starting to lose a bit of their brightness of the colours and starting to look a bit tatty. So I'm guessing that, uh, you know, if you haven't got out and collected your feathers by now, it's almost too late. A little bit more rain. It's that kind of rain that you get. And it's that damn humid, it just has to fall out of the sky.
just a small, small gathering of feathers from underneath this tree. You're getting a little bit past their best now, these pickups off the ground. Well, you can probably tell from the audio, it's raining. Should be able to hear the pitter patter of the raindrops on the, the prairie tree leaves above your head, but you'll also be able to hear the cicadas. Oh, what an absolutely but ugly day. Well, they're still here. There's a pair of cockbirds anyway. Oh, by all accounts, they're just starting to form up into big parties again. It's two hens and two cocks by the look of that. I don't see any immature chicks yet. <laughs> 